Hey Naman, there are so many speculations outside. AI will replace the jobs. Do I have to start the programming or not? What will be our future of the coders? So what are your thoughts as you have worked in the Google led so many teams what are your thoughts on this will AI make coders redundant uh, I think good question I think whenever a new technology comes job trends definitely change right for example I think very nuanced example but there was a time when there were human alarm clocks for example there used to be people whose only job was to wake you up in the morning you will tell them that hey I want to be woken up at like 6 a.m in the morning and they will come to your door and wake you up Now, when alarm clock was invented, those people were not really required after that, right? I think their job became redundant. Similarly, there was a time when there was no printing press. At that particular time, any book that you used to read was actually handwritten by a particular person. Now, when the printing press was invented, again, that particular job became redundant, right? So, whenever a technology shift happens, some jobs become redundant. But does that mean that all of the people start becoming unemployed after that? Well, that's not really the case, right? New jobs start coming up, professions develop. In fact, because of printing press, today you. have a lot of other professions that have come up right you have different book clubs that are there i think uh, very very big stationery shops that are there right so many economy keeps growing right now what i see is how is ai affecting things today right i think i personally also use ai in a lot of things in my day to day job i mean overall how do i see ai impacting the life of people these days primarily two things the very first thing is ai is helping professions do their work in a much more efficient for example uh, i mean let us take the job of a software engineer only okay earlier if i had to do a particular work let us say i had to do a very simple work of changing the color of a navigation bar okay i might have to google then after googling i would have to search go to different websites read the article on those websites find how to change the color try that and then it will work right now maybe on my editor itself there is a side bar where i can just directly ask gpt that hey how to change the color of the nav bar here it will give me the code and my work is done so something that would have taken me probably 30 minutes now takes me 5 minutes takes me 10 minutes right so it's making my job a bit more efficient it's helping me do my work in a better way for example similarly for marketing people typically they have to create copies for different posters for different marketing campaigns that happen earlier there used to be a person who would have taken like 30 minutes one hour to write the complete copy get the copy reviewed and then that copy would have sent now that person's work has reduced a lot they can probably use gpt to get some inspirations get some sample copies use them do some edits and tada your work is done something that would have taken him like 60 minutes to get a great copy now could have been done by 10 minutes right because gpt is aiding you to your work so one thing is it is aiding professionals a lot something that used to take x time now takes probably x by 10 times for a good number of profession the second thing which many people are actually afraid of is gpt is able to replicate some things very well for example specifically the jobs that are highly process oriented where the instructions are given you just have to follow those instructions don't use your mind don't do anything there is a just set of instructions just use them as it is okay or the jobs where you just have to do information gathering and just collate them at a single place for example maybe like a customer support job right where you have to where your only job maybe for a particular person might be that you go to someone you ask them what is the answer of this and you just write that answer and your work is done you are probably someone who is coming in between two people right it is able to replicate those processes very well for example a customer support in many companies now that information is now collated in a knowledge base instead of a customer support person answering that gpt answers that on the behalf right because gpt knows the complete knowledge base it will automatically create the answer and give that work for you so those jobs are kind of becoming redundant okay now how do i see this impacting software engineering very similar to the thesis that i told earlier right so software engineering also will start getting some redundancies but also will start getting a lot of efficiencies specifically because software engineering is sitting at the center of technology whenever a technology shift happens more and more companies now start adopting technologies and whenever a company will start adopting a technology they will need to hire more software engineers so actually it can be a benefit for software engineers but if you are using ai in the correct way now what are those correct so what i feel is the very first kind of jobs that will remain a lot important will be the jobs that will require problem solving where you are not just following a given set of instructions where you are not just gathering information and giving it a place where you are actually solving problems where you are actually coming with solutions where you are understanding a problem statement going into the depth of that figuring out different alternatives figuring out what is the best way to do that particular thing and then finally solve for example i told about earlier an example where you have to change the color of an app bar right but maybe let us make that problem a bit complex how to ensure that that nav bar 
will work across different kinds of devices that are there. It will work across mobile phone, it will work across tablet, it will work across a laptop. It will be able to manage its animations very well. For example, as soon as you shrink the device screen, the probably the navigation bar collapses. As soon as you expand it, maybe it comes out, right? All of those kind of things, right? That is going to require more problem solving skills. That is not something that any GPT, etc. might be able to give by code because it will require you to think from scratch. The second kind of skills that will probably be very useful will be the skills that will require in-depth knowledge. For example, in software engineering, it's not always just about implementing a particular feature. It's not always just change the color of a nav bar. There are a lot more complexities that are there. For example, uh, let us take a very simple example. Maybe if you have to build an Instagram clone. Now, if you are building that particular thing as a university project, maybe you might be able to run that Instagram clone only on one computer, maybe on your own laptop, and you will show to your professors, your professors will be happy, your family will be very happy, good. But do you really think the real Instagram that is able to serve one billion plus users that is able to handle so many stories so many posts happening every minute is so simple the answer is no there are a lot of complexities that come up how will you ensure that thousands of terabytes of data get stored how to ensure that the news feed gets loaded within milliseconds as soon as you open instagram if instagram's fetching of news feed is maybe like two seconds delay many people will turn off the app before that or there will be a competitor that will have much better user experience than you people will start shifting to that all of that requires in-depth knowledge how internally the systems work how internally for example operating systems work how computer networks work how databases work how to architect systems so people who have in-depth knowledge they will be at an advantage the third thing that I feel will be probably uh, very important in the future will be communication and people skills. See, as with time, we are saying that probably AI will become more and more advanced. It will be able to do more and more things. Primarily, it will become important on how well do you give instructions. Even today, for example, there's a profession of prompt engineering that has started becoming very popular, right? What prompts you give to an AI so that it is able to do exactly what you are expecting it to do, right? So communication skills will become very important. People skills will become very important. You will probably not need as many people for those repetitive tasks. Smaller number of people will be able to do the work. Smaller people specifically who are good in problem solving, but they will need communication skills to be able to interact well with AI, to get AI to do the exact work that they are expecting to do. If you're not communicating well with AI, probably AI will not give good instructions to you, right? For software engineering, I do feel, as I mentioned earlier, because you're sitting at the core of technology, many companies will try to adapt AI within their day-to-day -day jobs, within their day-to-day -day operations to make their systems more efficient. For example, customer support, right? Uh, there will be many non-tech companies also that will have customer support, right? For example, let us say there is a company that sells appliances. They are not really a tech company, right? They do probably don't have that much software, but they will have a support system. Now that support system will also probably, there will be a set of people who will be sitting behind the screens, who will be giving response to every request that comes up. That can be made much, 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 much more efficient by using AI, by using GPT. Now for that company to be able to use GPT, they will need to have some kind of software engineers who know how to use GPT behind the scenes to make that particular thing efficient. They will need to hire software engineers. So jobs, where you are using AI to get work done, that may actually start increasing. Software engineers who know how to use OpenAI to do something, how to use Midjourney to do something, how to build systems that behind the scenes are using AI models to get the things done, they might become more in demand. Okay, so one thing probably you can also start to do is start learning those skills, probably machine learning engineering, data engineering, all of those kind of things will start becoming important. And the second thing, maybe become very good in your fundamentals ensure that you are not just someone who just follows the documentation and just implements things you're not just an implementer where you are given instructions you just get the work done you are a problem solver you know the systems inside out you know how computer systems work and third be sure that you know how to use ai to make your day-to-day -day tasks more productive for example if you're using vs code maybe try to use the co-pilot extension. If you're using IntelliJ IDEA, use AI to write code on your behalf, give instructions to it, play around with it because that will make your jobs more and more productive. So high level, will it uh, make coders redundant? The answer is not really. But if you are someone who is just good in implementing the set of instructions when a boss gives you those instructions, probably you will start becoming redundant sooner. If you are someone who is a good problem solver, 
who knows systems inside out who knows internals of different frameworks different databases who is great in architecting very ux friendly systems very high scale systems and is able to use ai to make their day to day tasks productive you don't really have anything to worry in fact you may have a lot more jobs opening for you thank you so much naman for this insights based on this or a first year college student who has just started his computer engineering should plan his career like i mean when you start your computer science journey right i think you're very young you are very excited but very prone to getting confused right i think uh, in news you see one thing someone saying that okay data science is the new cake you start learning data science someone says ml engineering is the new cake you start learning ml engineering you are very prone to get distracted right so i think i myself have in my university days gone through a similar fiasco so definitely love to answer this question so very first advice that i will be having for someone just starting computer science is that it, at least in your first and second year please focus on fundamentals okay unfortunately for example let us say when a house is being built or when a big building is being built or when bangalore metro is being built for that particular matter what looks like the most boring part of that it is when the foundation is being built when for the metro the foundation stones the pillars are being erected it looks like boring right why it is taking so much time i don't see any development happening right similarly for a building when depth is being i mean the foundation of that building is being laid etc you feel that the work is going very slow no one is doing any work you feel it is boring you you find it cool when actually the pillars of a metro have been erected and now the lines are starting to get put or when the building actually is starting to come out that sounds cool the real strength of the building or the real strength of that metro line that will get laid is actually that foundation that was built the foundation that looked boring to you the better it was built the more time it took the more stronger it will be the more longer it will so foundations appear boring but they actually make you last longer in the very first 2 years please do spend some time doing that a bit boring stuff which might not feel relevant to you right now but believe me it will play a lot important role in your career journey ahead right? for example things like data structures algorithms please learn data structures algorithms very well they sit at the core of you making any efficient system they will help you problem solve in a better way understand the core parts of computer systems understand how operating systems work understand how computer networks work understand how databases work any software system that you will be building it will be using these concepts in some form or other okay do that boring stuff so that after that when you start building things you can use that foundational knowledge to do those things in a much better way okay so spend time doing that then second thing is embrace ai in your day to day job now uh, i mean while some people are either like okay ai is going to be everything humans are not needed some people are like ai is completely bad i'm not going to use ai at all i'm better than ai don't be into any of those polar categories embrace ai in your day to day work there are some use cases where ai will aid you will make you more efficient for example in whatever editor you are using try to use gpt extension try to use copilot extension try to make it auto complete for you give it instruction get a piece of code write that code then probably see if there are any changes in the code try to make it more try to use it to make yourself more efficient okay then the third thing i will say is don't distract yourself too much uh, i think i remember uh, in the second year of my uh, college i told that i want to become a data scientist okay in the early part of the third year i was into ml engineering then finally i came into back end i started getting distracted a lot right i think that was overall a time waste maybe spend the initial part as i mentioned earlier learning the foundational things and then try to specialize yourself into one particular domain maybe don't get distracted into data science uh, back end front end all of those kind of things too fast maybe take the first and the first half of the second year into getting those core things fine and then maybe start going into there okay and then the next part is maybe about the kind of projects that you are doing many people build projects in software engineering just for the sake of it that it will help me clear my resume and that's it don't do that because probably as ai matures as the expectations from projects will increase no more a to do list project or an e-commerce website project will help your resume get shortlisted instead of using these well trodden projects maybe try to create a project that solves a problem that you yourself are facing for example one of the projects that i most love and i think that taught me the most was in my university my internet was blocked so what i did was i bought a raspberry pi and uh, tinkered around with it to try to hack around some websites uh, in my university days now that taught me a lot about how computer systems work how networks work how vpns work how everything works right that gave me a good amount of learning and that made my resume also shine apart 
right so build projects to solve real problems the amount of learnings that you will get the amount of extra information extra knowledge that you will gain will never be doable via something that is probably a copied project or a project that already exists start to fall in love with engineering love engineering things love building things love solving the problems using code whenever you see a problem statement try to see how can i quickly write a code to get that particular thing solved if you fall in love with engineering your engineering career your software engineering career ahead will be much more fruitful you will gain much more value from it you will have a much longer career and will probably be amongst the top engineers amongst the highest earning engineers with overall a better successful career so i think that's what i will advise spend time on foundations don't distract yourself too much build projects to solve problems that you are yourself facing and embrace ai in your day to day job